You made it back to the cubby tent and just in time to help us find Mr. Brown Mouse. He's been captured and he sent a rescue message in a bottle in hopes that someone will come and save him. And that's exactly what we are going to do. Did you use our special song to help you on your way back? That's great. Maybe we can sing it again to help us know where we've been. And then we'll have a look on the map to see where we need to go next. We start by clapping and snapping like this. Got it. Then I sing and you repeat after me. We're going on a mouse hunt. We're going on a mouse hunt. We're going to find a brown one. We're going to find a brown one. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Whoa, oh, bricks, red stacked bricks. We can't go over it. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. We'll have to go through it. Click, 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 click. <gasps> well, now we've made it through the bricks. Where do you think we should head next? Well, let's have a look at the map. Okay, here's the cubby house. Then there's the bricks that we passed. And next, it looks like... Oh, balloons! Uh, I, I don't think those are balloons. Uh, uh, I'm sure it looks like balloons on strings. Skinny balloons on strings, like the ones in Pineapple's backpack. Wait, what? Pineapple has balloons in his backpack? What? <laughs> balloons? <laughs> well, we'll just pop those balloons back into his backpack. <laughs> What else do you have in here? Pineapple? A panda hat. Great. <laughs> Pineapple's panda hat. And, oh, actually, these will be really helpful. Uh, let's see if I can see what we are headed towards. Charles wants to know if you see any sausages on sticks up ahead. No, I do see some tall wavy grass though. I think maybe we should get a bit closer. <gasps> let's go then. Well, we're walking for a while. I think maybe we should sing our song again. Well, that sounds like a great idea. We're going on a mouse hunt. We're going on a mouse hunt. We're going to find a brown one. We're going to find a brown one. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Oh no, swishy long grass. Can't go over it. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. Swish, 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 swish. Oh, oh, wait. Where's, where's Charles? Charles, oh. Charles, come here, boy. Charles, Charles. Pineapple, did you see where oh. Charles went? Oh, no. Oh no, maybe he's lost in all this tall wavy grass. What if we, what if we can't find him? What if we, what if we lost for him? Shh, Megan, stop, stop I, crying. I can't, I'm so sad and I'm scared. I, I know you are, but no, please try and stop crying because I think I can hear him. Oh, <laughs> here he is. He got oh. caught in a basket in the oh. long grass. Oh, Charles. Oh, I'm so so, so worried about you. I'm so glad Meg found you. Oh, I do hope this grass doesn't go on for much farther. I need to sit and rest. Hmm, let me see. Uh, looks like there's a space a few kilometers ahead where we could make a camp. Why don't we set up camp there and you can have a rest there. Oh, that sounds like a good plan. We'll, we'll see you when we get camp set up. Oh, Charles, you had me so worried when I couldn't find you. What were you doing in that basket? He said he was thirsty and went looking for water. I wonder who left this basket in all the grass. Actually, while we were walking through the grass, I noticed that it looked like a dried up river. Maybe the basket floated down it. Oh, that actually reminds me of the next part of the book of Exodus. Would you like to hear a Bible story? I sure would. Well, last time we talked about how God promised Abraham that he would have a big family. 
But when God's family grew, 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 they were treated very badly by a mean king. Oh, that's right. God's people had to make bricks and build everything for the mean king. Yes, and he was very, very mean to God's people, even their children. He sounds like a terrible king. He was so terrible that one lady didn't want her son to grow up being treated that badly. Can you see how this woman feels in the image? She is sad because she's trying to hide her baby from the mean king. Do you see where she's hiding him? In a basket, which she left on the river in the, in the reeds. That's really sad. I imagine it was very, very sad, but she was praying that God would take care of her son. I know how sad I was thinking Charles was lost. I can't imagine how sad she would have been. But look, the princess has found the baby. Oh no, will she tell her dad, the mean king? No, look, she's smiling. She wants to take care of the baby. Hooray! Oh, it gets better. The baby's sister was watching from behind the long wavy grass. She said to the princess, I know someone who can help you care for the baby. The baby's own mum. Yes! The baby was looked after by his own mummy. Isn't that beautiful? The baby was named Moses, which means God saves. And God saved Moses, so when he grows up, he would save God's people. Hey Megan, this story really reminds me of baby Jesus. At Christmas, we remember that Jesus was born. God cared for Jesus when he was a baby too, and when he grew up, he saved us from our sin. Yes, that's exactly what this story points to. I am so happy that Jesus saved me, even happier than I am when we found Charles. Guess what? What? I know a song about baby Moses on the river and his sister hiding behind the wavy grass. That sounds perfect. A great way to end the day is music time with Meg. Music time with Meg, everyone. This one's got some actions so you can stand up and join in. We start off with our eyes up like this. Where is baby Moses, Moses, Moses? Where is baby Moses? On the river Nile. He's floating on the river, the river, the river. He's floating on the river, on the river Nile. The princess, she went swimming, swimming, swimming. The princess, she went swimming on the river Nile. She found the baby Moses, 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 she found the baby Moses on the river Nile. She took him to the palace, the palace, the palace. She took him to the palace on the river Nile. There the baby grew up, grew up, grew up. There the baby grew up on the river Nile. He saved the Jewish people, the people, the people. He saved the Jewish people on the river Nile. Good singing, everyone. That was a great song. Well, we might camp here for a few more days to recharge before heading on to find Mr. Brown Mouse. Do you think you can make it back? To get home, you go through the wavy grass. Swish, 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 swish. Just like the grass Moses' sister was hiding behind. And then through the bricks. Which reminds me of how hard God's people had to work for that mean king. Then just sing our mouse hunt song to get back. We can't wait to read more of the book of Exodus with you. And I'm also looking forward to rescuing Mr. Brown Mouse together. Oh yes. We'll see you back next week at the Cubby Tent to continue our mouse hunt. See you next week. Bye. Bye. In the Cubby house, it's time.